Why do you think it's important to use video? I think it was really good for us because it made us really focus on what we'd actually been doing. It's really quite difficult to choose the bits that, that are really important. One of the things is the interviews with the teachers that took place actually in Uganda, the Ugandan teachers. That was really important because we could see uh, that there had been an impact of what we'd been doing. When I was a global teacher back in 2003, I went to Uganda on a teacher visit. I came back very inspired by that and wanted to develop much more work in school. Also, I, I, I think it's about professional development of teachers and I realise that this is a great opportunity uh, for them to engage with the Ugandan teachers to develop things for both of us. We had uh, an intensive one week's training and uh, in there we, we learnt a number of issues. It was all to do with uh, developing good practices in teaching and learning in schools. That's great. What is this? After a year gone by, the head teacher and the staff plus the pupils were all appreciative. It helped them improve on their teaching skills, improve on the ways of handling the children, the ways of passing over the knowledge, and the children themselves really appreciated that uh, the way things were done. Kampala, the teeming, bustling, traffic-filled capital from which we emerged to travel the four and a half hours to Masindi, a rural district of small villages, banana and cassava plantations, subsistence farming, red roads, and thousands of wonderful children. Hello, children in UK. We are from Isagara Primary School, Masindi, Uganda. Good afternoon, children. How are you? We are all right, sir. Hello, teacher. Stand up, Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. There is a profound impact on those teachers who come and engage with the children, their schools and communities. This is reflected in their practice on their return to the UK. It was a very um, enriching experience. And, and totally welcoming and so interested in learning. It made me think about lots of things that have not been part of my consciousness. It took me to a whole different level. I think it was very confidence boosting. It was a great privilege. So vibrant and exciting and so very, very different. Alongside taking teachers to visit Ugandan schools, we have developed an organisation, Red Earth, which aims to support Ugandan teachers in developing good practice in teaching and learning. Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Have you read it recently? I think perhaps not. Yes. It will be the same in my school, we have many documents, but sometimes we forget that we need to look back and say, yes, we need to refocus on doing these things because we have got into habits that perhaps are not engaging our learners as well as they could. I read it and then when I come to a, a space, then I will hear your ideas for the words that could go in, okay? Ready, steady, go. The crowd waved and shouted, what a race this is going to be. How was the way first? He? I'm 17. You are 5 plus 8. I'm 13. You are 5 plus 5. The few one people say that he's interested in the playhouse. They normally play in that house. He's even interested in with some displays. Okay, these children are making um, a, a play hut for the classroom for the P1 children. And they've collected, what, what is this you have collected? This is it is just grass. Of course, from the time we, we began moving on together, we felt so nice being in touch with the red earth. 
and uh, borrowing the knowledge from you people into our own system. Here, our teachers have also embraced the program, they have liked it, and uh, with the support from the head teacher and fellow teachers, things are going on very well. The headmaster is very happy about the program because he knows what you taught us is what should continue in the school. Okay, Joanne, could you, could you tell me um, if there's been an impact in, in the schools that you support um, following the training that we did back in the summer? Yeah, in fact, it is true that uh, there's a great impact in, in the schools where I'm working uh, following the, this training which you provided to the teachers in my schools. I've seen very many changes. For example, there's one school where I have the student teachers who are being trained on their job. And this teacher whom you trained, he went and trained these other teachers. And I was surprised when I entered the classroom to observe the teacher teaching. He used the methods they told him when he's introducing the lesson. He started with a very good game which motivated all the learners. And I was also impressed because I was also motivated. These teachers have started developing the leadership skills. They, are, they have started influencing these other teachers also to do the same things they learned in the, in the workshop. We, they teach us in group work. I have seen like conversations making us to write on, on the air. Uh -huh. Yes, when, when to jump, jump up sings and some stories. We talk together in group work and we, we share wishes. I like new songs like who took the rice from the cooking pot and then there is less number of children absent from schools. Really? Is that yes. true? Yes. Ah. Continual professional development is a rarity, isn't it true, Isaac? It's it very, very rare. Yeah. And so these, these, what we take to be axiomatic education skills, don't reach the children, the teachers and the children of Ugandan schools, especially in rural areas. Yeah. And so we have the opportunity, since we were invited, to go and to say, look, this is what there is. And we show them how it works, we enact it, we role play it. And People like Isaac, uh, they say, we will try, and they do, and, and the results are so pleasing. But we have had to have a lot of discussions with other people about this yeah. in terms of the district education officers. Um, also, the Ugandans have a, a national curriculum, and we make sure that what we do links into what that says, because yeah. we don't want to do anything that is against what the government are asking the teachers to do. Yes, and we yes. made that a, a central part of the training as well. What kind of activities have the children been engaged in and what have their responses been? We are trying to involve the children in global, in global issues and real projects. So last term when I was working in Year 5, Year 5 put together a newspaper and a magazine which was partly written by children in our Lynx school and partly written by children in my school. And the children brought back the, um, brought back the articles, edited them, and then when I went back out in the summer, they took them and shared them, which was to a great delight. And I just think it builds their, um, their awareness of, of what, what the world is like and how it can be so different and how it can be brilliant when it's so different. I've seen like, conversations making us to write on, on the air. Uh -huh. Yes, when, when to jump, jump up, to sing some stories. Yes. We talk together in group work and we, we share wishes. It is uh, meaningful, real learning. Things are resting uh, in the brain so well it's not like they are falling on rock. It's wonderful. And then uh, the, 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 the involvement in the games, both in class and out, these are young age groups. Uh, when you give them a lot of play, they feel they want to be in school. Then it creates life, and that attracts so many. 
And it's also yeah. about active learning in class, isn't yeah. it? Rather, yeah. Yes, we were talking about this uh, the other day. Yeah, it is active, participatory. Uh, everybody feels like uh, he, he, the contribution made in class is needed and should be shared by the rest, yeah, which is so great. I also think, actually, on the, one of the things that um, made us reflect, and we have reflected on, on it before, but making the video made us do it more, is that we were looking at children's aspirations. When you grow up, what job do you think you would like to do? I will become a doctor. I want to be a pilot. I would like to be a doctor. A nurse. A nurse. A journalist. A nurse. I would like to be a pilot when I finish my studies. It is quite a difficult issue in that it's much harder to achieve those aspirations in Uganda. And so you're promoting the development of these uh, ideas, which may well engage the children, and it may well develop them uh, better educationally, hopefully. But what happens next? And I think we're always confronted with those issues in terms of, uh, of visiting a developing country. Isaac, what do you think is the real, the true value of using video? Of course, they carry the message more than if you had a discussion, a dialogue with somebody. Because now people will be seeing with their own eyes and they perceive what they see in their own sense, other than if you are just meant to buy some kind of perception from somebody. So they, they bring the reality. Lynn, the value of your video. As Isaac says, I can only follow up what he said then. Um, Discussion doesn't do it, it's not enough. You've got to have some sort of image um, on which to hang some of these, these ideas. And it's a um, hugely powerful medium, isn't it? I've never, I've never made a video before and I've never been in a video before. And I found upon watching the video that we had made, the meanings and connotations attached to it that I perceived upon watching it were not there when we made it. I, and it just showed me what a powerful, powerful medium this is. It's enormously influential and hopefully um, we will be able to use this to influence other people's thinking. Basically you found the process fairly simple even though really you didn't have that much time to get out there and yeah. get practicing yeah. with it before you started. It was all we really needed though was the camera. We needed no sound equipment, we needed no microphones, we, we didn't need lighting or, or anything. It's just a point and shoot thing so I found that to be extremely easy. I mean, I could shoot yeah, that's children right. here. Smile and wave. Beautiful. Yeah. And so once we'd shot, we'd just um, go back each night, transfer it straight to the, okay. to the laptop, and it could just transfer quickly as possible. And we could even start editing over there. Your kind of general experience and message would probably be just get out Probably just get it. out there and, and go for it. Even with all the dust, yeah. the rain, yeah. it just worked quite happily. While you're shooting, you might not think that it's worth anything, but when you come back, then, then you know that it really is. Okay, that's great. Thank you.